Formula One, a symbol of relentless innovation, technological marvels and legendary clashes on the track, it's achieved global dominance, but behind the facade of its success, a crisis is brewing. Liberty Media's relentless push for profit, its focus on entertainment over pure racing has sparked fierce internal power struggles and is turning fans away. Is the pinnacle of motorsport headed for a spectacular fall from grace? In the world of F1, power is a dangerous game. Formula One management holds the keys to the kingdom, they decide who races and who gets locked out. The Andretti debacle is a prime example. Despite a world-class pedigree, the backing of General Motors as Cadillac, and even getting FIA approval, Andretti was denied entry into the exclusive club. FOM's justification? They didn't bring enough value. The question is, what exactly does value mean in the eyes of Formula One management? If the Andretti fiasco wasn't troubling enough, let's look at some of the teams already on the grid. Williams, even with its new ownership, operates on a shoestring budget. They can't even afford a spare chassis. Remember when one of their drivers literally couldn't race, and until recently their entire inventory was managed on Excel spreadsheets, then there's Haas F1 barely scraping by, with an owner seemingly content to use the team for marketing while investing little else. Sauber has become a running joke with their pit stop blunders and endless reliability woes. Is this the kind of value F1 should be proud of? FOM might flex their commercial muscle, but the FIA is meant to be the sport's unyielding referee, the enforcer of the rules that ensure fair competition. Instead, they're dropping the ball at every turn. From inconsistent stewarding that makes outcomes feel arbitrary to the utter fiasco of Abu Dhabi 2021, the FIA's decisions undermine the very integrity of F1. It doesn't help that the FIA president himself is embroiled in scandals, further eroding trust in the governing body. And let's not forget, the FIA greenlit Andretti's application only to have FOM override their decision. This power struggle reveals a sport at war with itself. One side supposedly upholding sporting values, the other side prioritising the bottom line. With this kind of disarray at the top, can Formula One operate as it should? Liberty Media promised F1 would become an even grander spectacle and Vegas delivered on that, but the glitz and glamour can be deceptively hollow. Too often, the thrill of racing, close battles, the challenge of classic circuits like Monza or Spa, has been replaced with manufactured excitement. The sport risks turning into a predictable travelling circus, prioritising showmanship over the racing spirit that drew fans in the first place. This approach has real consequences. F1's focus on expanding into North America is failing to win over fans as hoped. Viewership in that crucial market is actively declining. New fans, attracted by the hype, quickly switch off when they see predictable races. This should be a wake-up call. Dominance does not equal excitement. And if you thought the power struggles couldn't get any more toxic, you're wrong. Under the guise of protecting their profits, the existing F1 teams are trying to shrink the grid in the next Concord Agreement. Why? To stop fresh blood from entering and challenging their established dominance. This mentality stifles innovation and excitement, turning F1 into an old boys club where you need to buy your way in, rather than earn a place through talent and success. The irony is this short-sighted greed comes after Liberty Media transformed F1 into a money-making machine. Team valuations have skyrocketed, but even with this financial success, the existing teams fear competition. It's a shameful attitude for a sport that prides itself on being the pinnacle of motorsport. Formula One has overcome adversity before, but this feels different. The focus on profit and manufactured entertainment, the internal squabbles, and the blatant disregard for fan dissatisfaction make the future look bleak. It's time for soul-searching. Will F1 remember the racing spirit that made it legendary, or is it content to slide into mediocrity? The choice is theirs, and the fate of the sport hangs in the balance.